So I'm at my desk one day and I get a phone call and this woman says she's an LA Times reporter <laughs> stationed in New York City and she wants to write a story about my deaf class. And I said to her, well, you know, Erica, I could tell you about it, but you should experience it for yourself. I think it would be a better article. So she became a student. She took the summer class which was a six week class. She wrote the article, it ended up on the front page of the LA Times, and then we talked about it and we decided to do the book. The Death and Perspective class is a curriculum that I wrote myself. I'm a nurse by background. My PhD is in community health policy, and so I've had a lot of experience with death. So I know a lot about accidents, homicides, suicides, and I wanted the students to get the same experience somewhat that I had actually working with people. So I developed lesson plans really around field trips. We um, go to a maximum security penitentiary and we talk to inmates. We go to a funeral home. We learn about the funeral business from the back end of things. I laid in a casket, something I would never think about doing ever. And a lot of people would say, oh, that's bad luck or that's this. And I was just like, she like kind of put me on the spot. Like, oh, you wanna lay in it? I was like, okay. <laughs> we see a full autopsy and that's really a remarkable um, kind of thing. The woman that we were seeing the autopsy be done to, she was only a year older than me. So that was very powerful. One of the first assignments, um, she makes us write a goodbye letter. By assigning the goodbye letter, I immediately find out why people are grieving, what they're grieving about, and then how we can best support each other. All of these letters connect us immediately together and I have to get that connection very early on because we're about to take this journey with all the field trips. And I want them to feel safe and I want them to feel very connected right from the beginning. I lost my mother um, a month before I started my freshman year. And I refused to say goodbye to my mother. I wrote the letter as a, I'll see you later. It was a very touching letter. I still remember it. The first time around, I didn't read it. And after going, to some of the trips and, and meeting people in my class on a whole nother level through those trips. Um, after she asked me a second time to read it, I finally did. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel after, but I actually felt uh, some sort of a release. Well, I hope that the students take away from the class a number of things. I'd like them to remember that their life is a precious gift and that they are the sole creator of their life that it's so exciting to think that you can do anything with this life and that you can do anything well with your life. The biggest lesson that they learn when they leave, they appreciate the fresh air, they appreciate the trees, they appreciate their family, and the students leave with a, a whole different perspective on life. Death and Perspective is a class in which by the end of the semester you realize it wasn't really about death, it's, it turned into a Life 101 class. I think a lot of people say, oh, the world is ending and a lot of horrible events are happening. What if I die tomorrow? What about this? Like, you have to stop panicking and stop worrying about it and just live your life. You're not going to be able to live your life if you keep worrying about death. I think by really facing death in the way that we do in the class, right up in your face kind of way, um, it's not an abstract anymore. It's really something that they can wrap their, their minds around now because they've seen it firsthand. And I think with that in your face, it really challenges people to be courageous and live their lives the way they'd like to.